Well, hello there, my fellow codfish. Good times. It's Scott here bringing you some tips and some tricks for a little bit of aftermath kill confirmed action. So we're rolling with the ground war. We've got our crew here today. And this is probably one of my least favorite maps in the game. And unfortunately, it is a lot like Downturn in Modern Warfare 3. Not as bad, but it's it's in that it's in that category. But I've got some tips and tricks to hopefully help you guys get a little bit better at this map. Some of these things have helped me, and if you watch the gameplay, you can see me make some of the mistakes that I'm going to talk about, and hopefully you can learn from some of the mistakes I'm going to be making, and you can learn from it and improve your game upon that. So let's take a little look at what we're using. We're using the PDW. We've got the silencer and the laser on there. The laser for extra style points, but it does come in handy with the hip firing and things of the nature. Silencer, of course, I always rock a silencer now in the team death matches or the kill confirms. Or I'm also bringing the silencer into a lot of other game modes because this is a real fast paced game. There's a lot of uh, smaller maps, so a lot of uh, things are closer together. So being off that radar is very important. For the perks, we're rolling the wild card here. We've got the ghost. And the hardline. Hardline get those kill streaks in the higher tiers a little bit faster, and the ghost to keep things uh, keep things on the stealthy, down low nature. Got the scavenger, keep that C4 rolling, and we've got the tack mask because we're a tank and we like to roll through people's shenanigans. So the kill streaks. If I were to do this over again, I would be rolling that VSAT. I would be rolling something other than the stealth chopper. The stealth chopper just just hasn't been cutting it lately. The game first came out, we were doing good with it, but I, I don't think they've nerfed it, but it's just not getting the results that I kind of had been in the beginning of the game. So I would roll something a little bit different. So good kill streaks for Team Deathmatch is a, something like a UAV, a Lightning Strike, maybe a VSAT. So something like that's good. Keep the kill streaks where you believe you can go. Most of the time, I'm rolling a UAV up to maybe a lightning strike not always going for those higher kill streaks because this game is very you know unpredictable with the lag and things of that nature so we're going to try to sway some people here from going for those higher kill streaks it's what i've done black ops one i was rolling with the dogs trapper gunner blackbird every game but now i'm having to mix it up because one game i might be going positive the next game i might not be it's just this game has a lot of inconsistencies for me, and I'm hoping that I can slowly over time build that up where I can be a little bit more consistent to get some of those higher kill streaks on a more continuous basis. So there's your kill streaks. And for the perks, I always recommend the ghost in this game. It's not the ghost that we know of from Modern War or from I mean Black Ops 1. It's not that camping perk that you know those kind of people they had the they had the bushes all taped to themselves. They were in the corner and they had that full moss with a red dot. You've seen it, you or at least you've seen pictures, because it was a dangerous, dangerous uh, combination. But in this game, they split it up in multiple perks. I believe it's been split up into three perks. And if you don't move, you show up on the radar. So it's a uh, rusher's perk. If somebody's moving around the map doing some work, not just sitting around doing nothing. Look at this, cleaning up the tags. That's the perk for you. It's a better player's perk now instead of maybe a person that was under the lower skill of the game so ghost is important i wish they would have renamed it so it didn't keep the stigma of ghost now right here i should have backed off after getting this kill but these players we're playing against very slow paced a lot of uh once they were on one side of the map they would like to stick to it you know maybe they had maybe they had set up some type of cook stove a little bit of something like that going on i never saw it there was some talk of cake at one point, but somewhere in this map they were, you know, sitting back enjoying that. So, see, again here, I'm making some mistakes. This map is, ah, it's a little bit frustrating. So what I would say is we're coming up on a flank route here. I would say avoid this area at all costs. This actually was maybe the second time I ever played Kill Confirmed on this map. So I'm trying to learn as I'm playing here and as I watch it, I'm learning again some of the mistakes I made. And this side is a camper's paradise or a head glitcher's paradise, whatever you prefer. There's a lot of head glitches like that little cone there. People get up in the bus. So I continue to be making mistakes. I'm not gonna be making any more of these mistakes, but hopefully you can learn from what I'm doing wrong here. It's continually 
rushing these guys who are head glitching those barrels. Now I get a little greedy. I see a lot of tags in a little bit here and I try to go for them, but that was to my detriment, unfortunately. But you know, I cleaned up, I got some tags, I helped the team. Sometimes in this game, it's okay to take a couple of deaths for your team, as long as you're taking an objective. In other games, you know, if you took those deaths, you, didn't, you weren't rewarded, you didn't really help your team in really that much way, so people didn't play the objective. But in this game, play the objective and don't be afraid to take a few deaths. Taking a few deaths is okay, as long as you're working for your team, getting those tags and helping your team get the victory. This game's all about the victory and the wins, not the KD. Well, guys, this is just about wraps it up, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe this is the video deserved a rating of some sort, that would be much appreciated. And I'd love to hear from you guys and what you think of Black Ops so far. I'm going to have a more in-depth analysis of Black Ops 2 very soon. But until then, I would love to hear from you guys, and I'd like to thank you again for the 9,000 subscribers. Just a thousand away from 10,000. I'm very excited for the future of my channel and bringing you guys the best possible content. We'll see you later. And you can check out that video. It's very cool and exciting, and I believe you would have great times watching it. And you can subscribe if you love good times. Goodbye.